Good morning, golfers. Uh, welcome to my morning round. Uh, before we get started, I say I have 32 messages, which would be uh, news about any uh, guys that beat my score or favorited a score, uh, favorited a course, or uh, might even give me some news about uh, a friend who's created a new course. Instead of going there, we're just going to go to the play, play around with me, and from this screen, we're going to uh, scroll down one to all courses, and then we're going to R1 over to friends' courses, and it looks like my friend Colin Mafia has uh, published up a... Uh, two versions of a course that he's designed. Uh, this has happened in about the last 24 hours, looks like. Uh, so, uh, we're going to jump on one of those. Uh, generally, uh, his LPGA courses are on the mild side as far as green hardness and pin placements. And, uh, Looks like he's done some, between the two of them, looks like he's done, I'm not quite sure what Bracken's going to stand for, but uh, we're going to give it a go. If he does any more versions of this, uh, he'll probably uh, use different tee boxes, maybe some different pin locations, so... Uh, this looks like a more conventional course. Uh, this one has three par threes and an extra par four. Uh, which is kind of leading me to believe that he's uh, left a drivable par four into this. If he's taken a par three, move the tees back to make it a par four. Uh, it might be drivable unless it's a uh, water carry. About that. So anyway, we're going we're gonna to go with the first one, sight unseen, and see how we make out. And here we are on the splash screen for the course. Not quite sure who's played this. Oh, only Colin himself has played it so far all the world, so I'll be the first one besides him, I guess, to take this out. Alright, so I'll head off to the first tee and see what we see. I have no idea what his score is or how he played it, so we're just going to give it a go. Welcome to the golf club. My name's John, and I'm going to comment on your round today. Let's play some golf. Looks like a uh, typical Woodlands course. Nice bunker detail. Watch the fly over here. Looks like he's got a, plenty of room for a few different pin placements here. This first hole uh, looks like he's left it pretty much in the middle. That's usually the more... Uh, temp temperate uh, hole locations. So he's got the usual uh, tee box detail in. Okay, cart path up the uh, right hand side there, and uh, nicely landscape. Uh, the cart path doesn't look silly, which is one of the first keys to course design, is to do some uh, sculpting so the you know the cart paths don't look like a roller coaster. So anyway, let's give this thing a look. Uh, We'll hit the triangle button and quickly L2 it out. Take a look at the property in general. Uh, just one of the corners of the property uh, stands out plainly. Looks like some kind of a parking facility there. 
Looks like it was, a, you know, it's like a parkland course. Possibly rural. I'm not sure. I'd have to ask him, I guess. It's really not important. Yeah, it looks like we have a uh, clubhouse proper there. That's something new he's tried. I, I haven't seen anybody else do this. Uh, obviously, uh, bunker sand needs a replenishment from time to time. And they got to get it from somewhere. They got to have it on hand. And of course, it needs to be stored. Uh, need mowers. That in the lower right, those are the mowers and uh, a couple of carts for the for the uh, greenskeepers to get around in. A pickup truck to take the sand out to the bunkers. Okay, you know, this is this is all legitimate stuff. I love it. like a straightforward <clears throat> uh, parkland course or countryside course. I don't see a lot of uh, you know crazy detail yet here. When we get to the further on the course, we'll probably do another one of these look arounds. Not every course needs to be uh, inundated with uh, rock work or water work or you know to be legitimate you know there are no rules the driver at this I'm gonna go with the five wood again up oh, wind changed and so yeah it's moving a little bit more now okay <clears throat> it's not just looking at the flag <clears throat> it's looking at what that arrow is doing So we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna take it over the top of that tree. This is a beauty. Bullseye in the fairway. Right in the middle. And no tree uh, trouble about here. 135 nope, not at all. yards out from here. 134 minus five. We're gonna call that 132 to the flag. 32 and 4, 136 from 38. Okay. I'm just going to give that wind a little bit of room to the right. And we're going to put this 9 iron back in our stance just a little bit. We already know it should land softly. Great contact. It's usually a good thing when he says that. Usually. I think you can a little probably bit two bounced, from here. Uh, this is for bounced burning. up about a yard and uh, stopped. So okay, this is looking very much like an amateur golf friendly course. All right, and again because of the green speed, six feet to the flag, six feet to the marker, and an inch downhill. Put the flag in. That looks pretty much straight up and down. From the other side, we can see we can see a little bit of ball through the uh, diameter of the flag stick. Looks like a pretty straight-on putt. <clears throat> 
I'm really having a little bit of trouble here of, uh, deciding where the brake might be. There isn't a whole lot to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that marker back in the center of the hole and move it forward a little bit. I want to, I'm aiming for the back of the hole, not the front of the hole. And just an extra inch or so, just so you make sure you're uh, hitting a flush. That was nice. Two under for the round. All right, let's let her rip. Before we do anything, we're going to look at that wind again. <clears throat> I'm detecting some wind noise through the ambient sound. Looks like it's blowing about four. Again, it's a short par four. It says 295 in the upper left. It's 304, so this pin was moved back a little bit from its original placement. Probably little trouble taking a driver at this. But I don't think we want to take a driver at this. 304, what, what kind of approach do we want to make? Uh, 304, if we want to take a pitch, 120 yard full pitching wedge in there. So 304, 204, you know, against the wind, the 195 club. We're going to take the 195 club. Back in the stance a little bit. Take it right up the edge of those trees. Okay. Well, we figured wrong. We, Ooh, no good. We did something wrong. Okay, my bad. Now we have uh, on a bit of an uphill lie. 89 to 96 uh, light rough split the difference between 89 and 96 uh, now we're gonna get about 93 percent so uh, 120 yard carry is going to turn into about 113 up against the wind i'm thinking with the between the little bit of wind and the rough we still got to uh, nail this uh, total pitching wedge four yards to the right so I'm thinking without any modification at all uh, you know, it's, we're uphill so it's already kind of back in our stance so uh, that's going to help Still All right, there. you're close in now two shots, even though the, the two bird. shot was a little faulty. Okay, now we got eight feet to the flag, seven feet according to the marker, and we're two inches up. Put the flag in, take a look. I'm detecting a little bit of right to uh, left to right, that right at the hole. Off to the left, you can see the mound on the edge of the green is high point, uh, so it can only, you know, be moving downhill to that point. I think the crest is right about there, where it's going to go from, from the 
ball to here it's going to be pretty much straight and I think we got a little bit of a crest so we're just going to take it to there make sure we get to the back of the hole Okay, short little putt here. We're using hand grenades. Okay, in for our par. Well, you you could have had a birdie there. I, I think you know that. It's okay. But uh, next time, Can't those ones will drop. Okay, so that's going to keep you at two under for the round. Can't all be par. Some nice bush and flower detail Very right nice. up there at the top of the screen. And we're right around 225 yards out here. Mm -hmm. Just because the course hasn't been, you know, totally inundated with architectural features and bridge work and stuff like that. I mean, if you play your local county municipal course there, you know, it's not it's not Trump National, you know, it's not TPC Sawgrass, you know, where it's you know it's a big country club type of thing there with all kinds of stuff going on there. This is just like a pleasant. Woodland uh, County course. Uh, this is the feel I get from it. The kind of stuff I would play on uh, when I was able to play. All right. So what do we got here? We got a pin tucked back uh, to the left. It's laid down a little bit. So uh, 225. Okay. It is a par five. Anyway, we want to land it right about there. You see that line up in the right corner there, 94 to 100 percent. That's because we're taking a wooden club off of a fairway lie. If we back that off to the three iron, you can see we can hit it very cleanly. But even though we're going to uh, We're going to aim to the left. We're going to, we're, we want to make the green if we can. And what we're going to do is uh, attempt to hit a draw here. Not by use of the shot modifier. Uh, we're going to use the stick. Um, take a look in the lower right there to circle with that red uh, cone in it. So what we want to do is make a draw by the stick and just use the the stick action we're not going to use the uh, draw fade at all on this so what this shot up oh, the wind change see that paying attention okay now it's helping us now we don't have to hit a draw the wind's going to push it down for us anyway if we were going to have made that draw we would take the stick back to six o'clock and then push it forward hard uh, to about the 11:30 position just you know to the left of that 12 o'clock position Wind's picked up. Now I'm feeling better and better about taking this five wood. Was able to hit it straight instead of trying to put a draw on it. And here we are, pin high, par five on him too. Nice little approach shot. All right, Wonderful. 13 foot Okay, here. 13 feet, 2 inches down. Agrees with the marker. 13 feet, 2 inches down. Stick the flag in. Things are looking pretty straight at the hole. Up to the top left of the green there. You can see that lump there. So if it's going to do anything, it, it, it will go left to right. And even without the grid, you can kind of visualize what's going to happen there. Things look uh, good. Ball, I think, is a little bit above my feet, too. I think we can hit this puppy straight on. 
I think if there's anything, there's a mild double break going on here. So we're just going to try to get it about halfway to the hole and let it roll out the rest of the way. Well, come on, ball. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of disappointing. Could have had that eagle. Yeah, All right, nice little two-foot putt. But, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about getting a birdie here. Tapping in for birdie. Nothing wrong with we'll that. We'll take it. Three under for the round. That's gonna have to hit something. Nice, I can uh, I can see a two button from here for the birdie here. Oh, 
Oh, I really wanted you to have that one. Moving right along here. All right, looking good so far. Uh, yeah, I stand corrected. It's the deep stuff for you. Well done, getting out of the deep stuff there, moving along. Sweet. This one's looking good. All right, here we are. Approach shot on the last hole. Very short par four. It's picked up quite a bit. I like the club, although I'm going to just take it a slight bit back in my stance. Bites. Nice, ended up just fine after that shot. All right, 12 footer here. Yes. <laughs> and there you have it, our round, folks. Finishing Great off course. with an eight under.